Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fishing North Atlantic. We're out here fishing for mainly cod. That's what we're going after. We uh, actually skipped to uh, January 5th. Yes, January 5th. It is 11.06 at night. It is very hard to set gear and somehow try to pick it up in the morning. Or at least during the day where you can see something. So I do apologize. Uh, it is 39 degrees. Apparently it's sunny. Uh, the next few days are going to be windy and crazy and... Oh, insta-stop. I'm, I'm glad they haven't fixed that yet. 10 mile... 10.6 miles an hour out of the uh, southeast. Or southwest. Excuse me. Octas is zero. Zero percent chance of rain. And 10.4 uh, nautical miles of visibility. So not terrible. We set six lines out here. Uh, this was a three-day-old... Um, uh, three day old dealio a good what in the world sir i pay you a lot of money to get perfects so therefore you get perfects or you're fired of the monkey pioneer we do not have time for goods we only have time for perfects okay thank you thank you yes i know it won't happen again thank you see the ocean i'll throw your ass in anyway welcome to fish in North Atlantic. We have to make it a little bit more exciting. Let me tell you what. So Tin Man, he always wants more gold rush and fish in North Atlantic. So that's what we're giving it to you. That's what we're doing. Uh, and I wanted to get some more money. I mean, we have $19.6 million, but I want some more money. Uh, we'll probably do uh, the Hermes next. I'm not for sure. We're just kind of jumping and skipping between boats. I mean, that's just what we have been doing. And uh, so far, it's working out. So that's what that's what we'll be doing. Unless you guys have something else that you want to watch or see, then uh, we will do that. But look at all that money. Oh, it's going to be fantastic money. Ah, love the money. The money, 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 money. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, besides the point. So we actually had to get Sandy back. Or Sadie. Not Sandy. Sadie back. Uh, it's been, uh, been a while. 131,000 pounds. Wow, that is a lot. Really, it, it it really is. Oh, I need a fast travel. That's what I need to do. But yeah, 131,000 pounds on the first line, and uh, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Could have been better if uh, he actually got uh, all perfects instead of, you know, getting that great. But anyway, so that's boy. So hopefully we will be getting all perfects this time, or else we'll just, you know, have to throw them overboard. Walk of the plank. Me and the gal has been watching Pirates of the Caribbean. All of them. All the Pirates of the Caribbean. I've never seen all of them. Like, I've only seen bits and pieces of, of some of them. Um, so yeah, that, that was uh, what we've been doing for like the last week. And apparently it's been showing because, oh, let's just run over the line. And somehow we didn't. Okay. I can, I'm, I can, I'm good with that. I mean, not like it really damages the boat or anything if you do run over the line, but it, it works. It works. So just keep up, and then as soon as we get perfectly straight or parallel with the buoy, we uh, will be doing good. So let's... Uh, probably should have backed up more. That probably would have been the best idea. I've been getting some comments uh, from people that are just now new to the game. Uh, just now getting the game for the first time and playing it and uh, stuff like that. Asking me some tips and tricks. And basically, the best tip I can give you is <clears throat> when you first start out on easy, I think you get the Mickey, if I, if I do remember correctly. And you start out in tuna season. Um, but if you do... Uh, if you start on hard, you get the no Yankee. Or maybe that's backwards. One or the other. Uh, the best thing I can do is actually, if you start out with a no Yankee, go go fish for lobster. Um, and then, I mean, it's all by yourself, of course. But if you can, get the Mickey. Um, or at least fish long enough to get an upgraded boat and then go long line fishing. Because you start out in January. So if you can go fishing for cod... These bad boys are already worth a lot of money. 
Uh, let's go. Yeah, so cod is two dollars apparently, um, which is absolutely terrible. But I mean, it's it's not bad, really. All all things considered, it's not bad because they do weigh quite a bit. So try to. I think the Mickey can go long lining, or at least I do believe so. So if the Mickey can go long lining, get the Mickey, go out, go cod fishing, get money, and then pretty much you can just build up from there. This boat here costs, might as well just say $7 million. Uh, so it does take quite a while to get this, but you have 10,000 hook lines, which we have been setting. All these lines have been set for uh, 10,000 hook lines. And that's how you get the 131,000 pounds. We can also carry 1.1 million pounds. Um, so all that things, all them things considered, 107.9 on that one. All things considered, you make a lot of money. Like, I think the first or second set that we had was, I believe, if I remember correctly, was 9 million. And that was like 6 to 10 lines. Something like that. Like I said, I can't remember exactly. They're all in the videos below. So if you are new to the channel and you did just get the game, um, <clears throat> go check them out. I've walked through... I actually had two new saves in this game. The first one, um, I got all the way up, I think, to the Hermes and bought every boat, I think. Um, almost every boat. Not, not all the small ones, but all the big ones like the Hermes, Atlantic Catcher. Bought all of them. The Atlantic Catcher's $29 million, and I think I bought that without a loan. Maybe I bought it with the loan. I couldn't tell you. Um, but, yeah. So, I mean, ha have all that if you wanted to uh, see more in depth of how I do everything. Uh, and then uh, the Scallop DLC come out, and it pretty much just screwed everything up. And then they actually uh, came out with the Enhanced Edition a few months ago I'd like to say like maybe October to December-ish time I think so every, everybody had to start over and so I'm back up to basically where I am on the other save I mean it took a few months anyway but back up so I mean it doesn't take too terribly long to get this boat the Hermes and stuff like that I mean it's definitely uh, time and dedication based hundred percent I mean it, it it takes time it's not the get rich quick game but it kind of is um, cod fishing is probably the most um, lucrative fishery I think I think personally especially if you can get the port reputation up how do you get the port reputation up well there's multiple ways you can either target that one like mine right now is Yarmouth um, and I've just been going to Yarmouth. Boom, 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 boom. Every time I've sold anything, uh, whether it be lobster, crab, cod, anything, I went to Yarmouth, and that's what I did. And right now we're lord of all fish, or the, the top deal. And uh, we're getting 130000 Uh And we're also getting 19.5% uh, on top of uh, all the fish. Um that you know we're getting so i mean it's it oh, too far uh v that's what i wanted so because of that we're you know we're i think it's 19 percent of whatever you catch or whatever you sell you get 19 percent because it goes up and down with everything you bring in so if you get like nine million and then you take 19 percent of that 20 million or 20 percent of that it's like maybe five hundred thousand or something like that i don't know I can't do math at the moment, but uh, somewhere in there, right? So if you stick to one port, that's the way to do it. So I haven't done any missions. I haven't done anything. Uh, but if you buy the ships there, you do the missions, and you sell the fish, all your fish there, then that's how you level up the port reputation. That's how you get more money. And I'll show you that when we sell this fi these fish. Um, it's not going to take too terribly much longer, but... I mean, right now, <clears throat> because we're we're doing so good, we're even going seven miles an hour and not moving. Um, that that's my fav favorite part. Uh, we got three hundred and might as well say three hundred and seventy thousand pounds with three lines. So we're averaging one hundred and fifteen ish a line, maybe three twenty. No, three 
323, 323,000 pounds, give or take, a line. So we're doing we're doing pretty good, and and he's getting all perfects. And then also, if you go to uh, the box and you go to gutting, we're all number five, five stars. That's also going to get you more money. Now, saying that, all my people, or my crew, like if you look at Mr. Isaac, he's the one that was screwing up. I've leveled him up everything that I've done. Haven't did, uh, no, the deep line. Haven't leveled him up deep line or crane operation because we haven't really done nothing. Cooking, repairing, I should probably upgrade that, but he does all right. But machine gunning, we do that. He's leveled up. Uh, 261. Uh, Miss Emma, 245, same thing. Except cooking, she's my cooker, right? Uh, and then Rudy, yeah, he's leveled up in everything we've done. And everybody that we have is leveled up in everything, except I could potentially have made the gals uh, be uh, top deal in, uh, in cooking, just because... They were already better at cooking than the guys anyway, so it was a little less money. But to fully upgrade them, I think it's $130,000. So, you level, or for one, it, it's for, so for like uh, deep line, long line hauling, net hauling, this, that, da, 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 it's 130 per each, I do believe, depending on how low or how high they are. So I probably spent, eh, about five million dollars on leveling up my crew, but I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to, uh, basically, I don't have to work on deck. I mean, I can if I wanted to. Like, sometimes I'll bring in the long lines. You know, I do have a few videos of that. But pretty much, I don't do anything. I just drive the boat and, and zoom in and make sure this moron is, is getting perfects instead of greats. But, you know, he, he took my, uh, he took my my threat pretty pretty seriously because he's getting all perfects now. Now that I say that he's probably gonna get a grade or something to test my test my my word, but anyway, that's besides the point. Four hundred and seventy eight thousand pounds. We're definitely not gonna get a full boat, but we'll probably get about eh, if we could get about seven fifty, three quarters of a boat with six lines, fantastic. You can always go overboard too. I had 10,000 hook, or 10, 10,000 hook lines, but I only set six, just because it was just easier that way. Um, and, and they do take a long time to set. I mean, I probably, mm, about 45 minutes to set six, maybe a little less, somewhere in that range. But, you know, they do bring in a lot of money, but they also cost a lot of money to rebate. I think it's like a hundred and something thousand to rebate. Ooh, that was a terrible line. Absolutely terrible. And then I just, you know, fast travel to the next line. This one's, mm, we'll wait an hour anyway, because we're not necessarily worried about time. So we'll set another one. And of course, you can always set while you're, you're going. But you cannot set and haul at the same time. I wish they would put that in the game because in real life that's what they're doing. It just makes life ten times easier. But sadly, you can't do it in the game. I don't even think you can do crab, you know, like pick up a pot, reset the pot, and then pick up another pot. I, I, I don't think you can haul and set at the same time, which really pretty much sucks. It, it sucks. So the last one's even, well best for last I guess so what we're gonna do is there the cod are definitely up here so I'll grab a few cod and I'll just you know spread them around here there we go and then eh, let's put crab the crab is definitely where we don't want to be so they're up here not down here and so with me I'll be like okay so fine I'll set the the uh, the starting line here which they were and then around here we'll set another one Right, so they're up here yet, but this is four days ago. It, it was a tip. Don't always trust the tips. Um, like if it's a week, come down here a little bit, and then you'll find them. Uh, if they're not right here, wherever this arrow is pointing, go there. Like all this, this is a month ago. All that's bad, you know. I mean, you could go there, but it's all bad. Sixteen days ago, we went crabbing and, and uh, lobster fishing. Let's see. Oh, this is all my scallops. 
No, I guess I... Oh, well, it's still there, I guess. But yeah, so that's that's what I do. I mean, if you guys are, you know, trying to get any advice or whatever, that's what I do. And then while you're coming out here and, and looking and whatnot, look at your sonar, too. Like, uh, there's a haddock, there's some crab here. Not a ton, but there is, you know, some other fisheries out there. And so if you really wanted to, you can come back into the map and go, oh, hey, yeah, there's a... Where's the haddock? There's a haddock. Yep, throw it out there, because now I know that there's a haddock. Whatever you're doing. I mean, that's that's a good way to do it. Like I said, you could get tips if you got the money, and you just like spending money. That's It's good to do. Um, but another easy way to do it is when you're hauling and when you're looking for fish, whatever you see down here, just, you know, like next haul we could go for haddock or pollock, then we'll throw out haddock and pollock on the map to let us know, hey, they were here however long ago. So, anyway, uh, just another thing. 33,000 pounds. We definitely was not good. That, that's what I'll say. So, we'll put you. We'll put you over there. And they have 158,000 yet to gut. 34,000 was gut. 188,000 was frozen. And then 198,000 was stacked. So, that's how you read that as well. We do have three lines but you know like always gives me uh more content for later so we'll come back here probably all of them are going to be tired because i don't think you can upgrade the stamina i don't think you can do that but you can upgrade everything else and then i will show you how to do that as well if you guys don't know so we'll come over here and uh looks like we're almost done looks like uh sadie's gonna have to go take a take a nap and then we'll probably put Emma over there as soon as she is done and then we'll put Rudy in the bunk as well may put Isaac in the bunk and then just swap these two out not real sure yet so let's actually do that let's put Sadie back and then let's put her in and then let's let's actually have him rest as well just for a little bit and then you want them all to to move around and do whatever you really have to make sure that how, wherever they go they have to get there or else nothing will happen so what I do is I just sit here and once she starts flashing green okay now she's good to go so then I normally go inside and I eh, let's skip mm, four hours yep why not Isaac is too tired to work well how, how surprised am I so now we're all good to go and we have 500, 000, or 579,204 pounds of, uh, of fish that we caught in six lines. Absolutely fantastic. I made this in 18 minutes. <laughs> I've been recording for 18 minutes. That's how long it took to pick them up. So not bad at all. All right. So this right here. Okay. So I've caught other fish as well. I didn't, uh, didn't put all that together. Anyway. So uh, the price because I'm in Yarmouth is uh, $6.25. That's because of this right here. The port reputation, 19.3. Uh, went down 0.2%, which is fine. Uh, and the gut, 50, 54, 53, 49. But it's all 100%. Haddock, 396. Pollock, 446. And redfish, 454 dollars a pound. 43,817 cod, 117 haddock, 84 pollock, 59 redfish, da 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 da. But basically, what we're really worried about in this whole thing, I don't care how many fish we caught because we were targeting in the cod, so that's, that's what we're worried about. Basically, what I'm worried about is right here. How much money did I get from Port Reputation? That's 698,000. You might as well say 700,000 for easy, easy money configuring. And all my crew, right, so 68,000, 43,000, Isaac got 94,000, all for this one trip. So we paid them 9.4% of whatever we hauled in, 405,000, so we might as well just say 400,000. So basically we got $300,000 extra from, uh, from this. So you might as well just say we got $3.6 million altogether. After expenses, after everything, 3.6 million. Bada bing, bada boom. And then 300,000 from uh, the port reputation, which means we got 3.9. So that's how we've done it. Okay, so now we're up to 23.5 million dollars. 
Uh, so let's see, fishing gear. Let's see, uh, unbaited lines. Uh, is this shrimp? I think, yep, that looks like a shrimp. Nope, that's krill. Oh, that's shrimp. Okay, what? I don't know what the hell a krill looks like, but that looks like shrimp to me. Whatever. So we're going to just buy them up all with, um, okay, with shrimp. Don't know why I have 19 lines. That's kind of, that's kind of aggravating. So here, we'll just buy another one right quick. Nice, you know, nice chump change, you know, not, it, it's not too expensive. So, oh, I forgot to look and see how much it was. So how much is it? It is $10,000 for a 10,000 hook line. So you basically pay a dollar a hook. And then I can't remember, I can't remember how much, you know what, just for the sake of the video, let's undo it. And then let's look here. And it's $12,500 per line. So it's actually a lot less than I thought. And bada bing, bada boom. You know, we waste a little bit of money, but I ain't worried about it. Like I said, got a ton of money. Uh, so let's see. So then you go to town. You go to crew. You can buy anybody you want. Or hire, technically. Hire. Uh, but see, look. He's at 140, but nothing is upgraded, right? So that, that's what you get. Cream of the crop. But he, we're also going to pay him 2.3%. So, like, Victor would be better because he's at one percent but he sucks at everything so it's kind of a kind of a you know what do you get so then you go to train crew here let's see let's actually make her good at cooking as well so we have another one so nine uh levels one hundred and twenty six thousand. boom oh okay boom nope why not okay there we go i was gonna say why, why can't we do it uh let's see let's make isaac also I want my uh, my repairing faster because I like to hit stuff. There we go. And there. Everything's maxed. I guess you got to make sure that everything's maxed. There we go. Anyway, so that's how you do it. That's how you, you go fishing for cod. Nothing too crazy. The ocean, there was some swells. A lot of people were finding my, uh, my Dexter video when it had real bad swells. That's in the past. There, there's no bad spells anymore. Like, this is about as bad as it gets. But that's fine. You know, everything's fine. Still a great game. So if you guys are looking at the game, it is a good game. It's not technically hard to get whatever you're doing or uh, get wherever you're going or what have you. Uh, yeah, let's get fuel, too. Why not? We we got money. Let's get fuel. There we go. Two point or 2,300, well, 2,400 gallons, you want to say. $11,000. Bada bing, bada boom. So we made a ton of money. And, and, you know, nothing too bad. But anyway, if you guys have any more questions, let me know in the comments below. And I will gladly answer them to the best of my ability, either in the comments or in a video. But anyway, if you guys have any suggestions on what boat you want to see next, uh, what fishery you want me to do, uh, let me know in the comments below. But anyway, thank you all so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'll catch you all in the next one, and you all take care.